you know, when I first posted this, everyone laughed at me. They were like, you're crazy, you can't do that. But then you look at it now and you go, oh, okay. That's why you did this. <laughs> Seriously, though, I think this turned out a lot better than people were saying. People said that it looked terrible. If you're wondering why it has these big fender cuts, everyone was talking about that. It's because this was a monster truck body. This was the Lindbergh Raminator model kit. But now it's on an SCX-24 Gladiator. Reused the mount, flipped it upside down. It's got the carbon fiber angled skid. The whole carbon fiber chassis. It's very, very lightweight, all things considered. And I think it looks pretty damn good. I know, it's a Dodge. Everyone's going to make fun of me because... For some reason, people can make fun of Dodges, but I'm a Mopar guy, <laughs> so whatever. Okay, this thing is actually surprising me. This is mostly stock. All I've done to it, this is a Gladiator V2. It's got the oil-filled shocks from the factory, V2 electronics. It's got an Endura 50-turn motor and transmission and a carbon fiber frame with an angled skid. It's got these OGRC comp pin tires with um, treal brass uh, rings and wheels calling this thing the mini hulk because it's green and this thing is surprising me it's so lightweight for one thing I can't imagine once we start adding some more weight up front it's still got the stock steering stuff and everything Nothing's been changed. Look at this. This is a hard climb for even a built rig. And it did it. Holy shit. Alright, let's try this. Let's try the staircase with this thing, because I think it's going to be even more difficult. It's definitely more narrow than the tarantula was. Oh my god, it's a beast, it's a beast. Okay, I've got this all wrong. When you start making your rig more heavy, it performs worse. You gotta make it lighter. Oh my god, bro, this shit is insane. Are you serious? Wow. I am thoroughly impressed with this thing. It's it's mostly stock, dude. Wow. Holy shit. All right, let's try over here. I still can't believe just how capable this truck is. That carbon fiber frame, I think, really makes a difference with the angled skin. It's not getting caught up that much, despite being a longer wheelbase. I think the MB100 would be great in this little rig. I don't see much need to upgrade the motor. The motor in this thing and transmission is really good. It's that purple 50 motor with the uh, transmission combo. Gonna have to get a real big turn here. This is pretty steep right here. No way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god, the Mini Hulk is a beast. Oh my god. I think with some green links it would look really cool. Maybe steering links.
Wow. What a beast.